welcome to our daily youtube session today we will discuss the issue of upi interchange fee so it pertains to your economics okay and the news is very much of significance with respect to your prelims examination we will discuss basically why this thing is in news then we will also discuss basically what does it say and we will try to understand some technical concepts that may be very much helpful for your prelims examination for example what is upi then the notification has been issued by npci what is that the intercharge fee that has been levied it is called as ppi fee what is that then we will also discuss basically whether it will be beneficial or whether it will be of disadvantage okay so let's continue and see basically why this thing was in news okay so first of all the news state that an agency called npci has advised prepaid payment instruments fees to be applied on merchant transactions on upi so this thing is very much important first of all you need to understand that npci that npci has levied ppi fees okay over merchant transactions we will discuss basically what the do these terms mean then second thing the news says that it is to be levied for amounts that are over rupees 2000 at what percent that is 1.1% one percent of the transaction value okay then who will be basically paying this fee the fees is to be paid to wallet issuers wallet issuers are like for example you have paytm phone pay google pay etc that will be basically bearing the cost of acceptance processing the fees and from this news actually basically a lot of prelims question can be asked for example first of all the fee has been levied by npci then first of all this question basically that can be framed is basically who is levying the fees whether it is a N I iba rbi npci so you know npi then basically over what kind of transactions it is levied then it is over transaction uh, merchant transactions it is not applicable keep in mind not applicable for person to person as well as person to merchant transactions that happens between a bank and a prepaid wallet then over what kind of amount that is over rupees 2000 so basically four type of factual questions that comes across from this news that fee is levied by npi then basically over merchant transactions and not applicable on person to person or person to merchant transactions and for a value that is over rupees 2000 and at what rate that is 1.1% of transaction value okay this is a thing that you keep to basically keep in mind then moving forward what else does it say is that npci has specified that inter range charges will depend on the profile of merchants okay and they will vary from 50% of the transaction to 1.1% of the transaction value okay just to simplify this basically how this thing works we have an illustration here okay what does this say just we will basically see it. for example you have an account which with an hdfc bank okay and what you, you do is to basically simplify your transactions to whatever you basically you are purchasing at the retailer shops what you do is you basically put some money from this bank account into your paytm wallet for example say you basically credited your paytm wallet by rupees 5000 now what will happen is basically as paytm wallet is a prepaid service because what is a prepaid instrument just take a example of your mobile phones they are prepaid phones majority of them you advance basically recharge them in advance so similarly the concept here basically you recharge your wallet in advance for the transactions that will happen in future rather than doing it on the time so you credited your paytm wallet by rupees 5000 now what will happen is basically paytm will have to pay this interchange fee to the hdfc bank then 
what will happen is now with this money in your account you went to a shop to buy a phone basically at any retailer shop now what happens is at a retailer shop the basically the retailer has a service to accept this money from your paytm wallet by a service provider like google pay is there paytm is there any other transaction basically like axis bank is there whatever basically platform service that individual is using when you use this money of rupees 5000 to buy a phone now what will happen is because the money has been credited into the account of this retailer now this retailer will pay the charge to the paytm okay this is how this thing works basically that it the charge is levied on the merchant transactions that use wallet okay just keep this thing in mind you have an hdfc account and here you use a paytm now you load your account basically with 5000 to your wallet from your bank now paytm will pay some basically value of the transaction to the hdfc bank now you went to retailer shop to buy a phone using that paytm wallet now the bank or the payment provider which the retailer is using basically will have to pay the retailer will have to pay 1.1 percent as an intercharge fee to the paytm for facilitating the transaction so this is an interchange fee basically it has to be absorbed by merchants not by customers clear now we will discuss the technical terms that are associated with this basically first thing that we will discuss here is that is very important for your prelims examination that is what is prepaid instrument payment instrument so it is a type of card gift card or a digital wallet what is it it is a type of a payment card a gift card or digital wallet that is loaded with specific amount of money in advance by the user okay for example again i have giving this example for example you have a paytm wallet okay now you basically feel that basically i will be needing the money for future transaction whenever i will visit the market rather than doing it on a cash basis or doing it through the upi okay you feel that basically it is easy to use a paytm wallet so you credit your paytm wallet with rupees 5000 so just relate it with the, your de definition specific amount of money that is basically loaded in advance by the user okay the money loaded on the ppi can be used to make purchase or payment at a participating merchants either through an online mechanism or through an offline mechanism so since it is a form of prepaid payment in instrument the fees that is levied on this it is called as ppi fees okay i hope i am clear basically what is prepaid payment instrument and the fees that is levied on using this instrument is called as a ppi fees moving forward now we need to know what is npci that is basically national payment corporation of india so see first of all it is an umbrella organization for operating retail payments and settlements in india be very clear with the definition upsc may ask this only for it is for operating not wholesale but it is for operating retail payment and settlements in india then who initiative kiska hai? it is an initiative of rbi and indian banking association this thing has been asked in the prelims examination by the upa upsc itself okay it is an initiative of rbi and indian banking association under the payment and settlement systems act that is 2007 very very important for your prelims examination because this thing is in news so this is something that can be asked by the upsc so its objective is to create a robust payment and settlement infrastructure in india and it is incorporated as not for profit company under section 25 and now section 8 of the companies act 2013 so what you need to know about npci first of all it is basically initiated by rbi and indian banking association under payment and settlement system act that is basically 2007 for what thing it is used it is used to facilitate retail payment and settlements okay across india so this is thing with npci moving forward we need to know what is upi 
then basically it is UPI payment services. See, UPI is a system that powers multiple bank accounts into a single mobile application. On a UPI app, basically, you can link your multiple, for example, one account is with HDFC, second one is with SBI, third one is basically with IC, ICI. Then, rather than going over the individual apps to make some transaction, through UPI, you can link multiple accounts on a single app, okay, merging several bank features and seamless fund routing and merchant payments into the one hood. Okay, this thing needs to be very clear. Then it caters to peer to peer collect requests, which can be scheduled and paid as per requirement and conveniences. Okay, so what is UPI? It is a basically system that powers multiple bank accounts into a single mobile app rather than using different apps for different banking services just as to basically ease this sorry ease and smoothen the payment process moving forward then we need to know will this make wallet transactions costlier see we have already discussed the interchange fee are paid by merchants to wallet or card issuers and are usually absorbed by merchants be very clear if upsc asks this it is to be absorbed by the merchants but however smaller merchants and shopkeepers remain out of pre preview because it is to be levied over transactions that are over rupees 2000 but however it will impact the merchants ability to absorb the higher cost which ultimately will be passed on to the customers okay so it will be basically ultimately passed on to the customers for transactions that are over rupees 2000 that is what we have generally seen so what we have discussed up till now what again i will repeat it in a nutshell the notification has been issued by npci for merchant transactions that are over rupees 2000 it does not cover person to person or per person to merchant transactions which involve a basically wallet and a bank then merchant transactions that happen over prepaid instruments okay like paytm wallet then the fee that will be charged here that will be called as ppi fees and the transaction will depend upon basically it is charged at 1.1 percent of the transaction value and the thing that basically can be asked for from your prelim exam examination that i have already told you plus the technical terms what is npi what is upi and what is ppi then we will also discuss a question here along with this that is this is a previous year upsc question which of the following is most likely consequence of implementing the united payments interface first of all mobile wallets will not be necessary for online payments one thing second one digital currency will totally replace the physical currency in about two decades third one fdi inflows will drastically increase and third one direct transfer of subsidies to poor people will become very effective now first of all we need to eliminate the extreme statements totally replacement is not possible basically so we will just cut this statement this cannot be answered next FDI inflows will drastically increase. UPI has nothing to do with the FDI foreign flows. So this thing can also be cut out. Now we have two options A and D. D states that direct transfer of subsidies to poor people will become effective. And A states that mobile wallets will not be necessary for online payments. Now just remember what we basically discussed in the what we say definition of UPI that it is a system which links multiple banks on a single app and you can basically make the payment through upi rather than basically uploading your money in any paid basically wallet services so what is our answer that is mobile wallets will not be necessary for online payments that is basically we have basically come across with respect to your economics and will be very much helpful for your prelims examination. So this will be all for today. Thank you.